Hey, what's up guys? It's Clayton back for part two of the stream uh, or OBS uh, transition tutorial. Sorry if I'm freaking you guys out with this uh, mirror, but I have to drag my OBS over here on this screen to show you guys how to work these transitions. So basically, assuming you've already made your transition or you've downloaded one or you followed the video I made before, this is part two of how you properly import these files into OBS. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to scene transition and go, actually, I just realized, they changed it so you can click add configurable transition and click stinger this is the new one they added so i'll name this one tutorial it's a little different from my old video because they changed how it looks in obs so just click that little plus button and go to stinger that's the name of custom transitions so again same thing as the old video click the locate your file option here and we're going to name it we're going to open up the tutorial ones the one i made earlier and i forgot to mention this in the video before but just kind of keep a mental note of what frame your you want the transition to occur at so i see down there at about 23 but i have a bunch of frames i could work with because i kind of gave it a little buffer room so i'll say 23 so change this to frame 23 if you want to hear the audio, you can turn audio, monitor, and output, and that will make it so you hear the audio, but there's no audio for mine, so it doesn't really matter. Um, if you want the audio to fade in and out, that's what you can have right there, but we'll click OK. So over here, make sure you have tutorial selected, and we'll go to a different scene here, and this is what you'll see. And I did not have the proper... <laughs> oh, there it is. So it's set per scene. I just realized that. I haven't used this in a while, actually. So right now, if I right-click on black, I have a transition override, so automatically will do a fade no matter what scene transition you have over here. But if I turn that off... But let's say, I'll go back to recording. Let's say you're playing a game and you want it to have uh, that awesome transition. Whenever you go out to like your face cam, let's say this black, I just right cl I clicked on again. Let's say the black is your face cam and you don't want it to go like the transition out to your face cam. You just want it to fade. Right, like I did right there, just transition override, fade. And now when I go from recording to black, it's just a fade. But when I go back to recording, it uses the default C transition. I, I'm rambling, but I'm I'm assuming you guys understand how this works. This makes sense to you guys. But again, if you guys have questions, put them in the comments below. But that's it. It's so simple and it's so easy to do. But I hope the um I hope this helps you guys. I hope it makes sense. Also, just in case um anyone's curious, I'm gonna go ahead and do this in Streamlabs OBS. So if anyone wants to know how to do it in Streamlabs OBS, you will also be able to do it there. So let's say this is the my one of my scenes. And I want to, oh man, they keep changing everything. So this one, it's a little different in Streamlabs OBS, but click this little gear up here to edit scene transitions. Click add transition. It's kind of the same now here. Stinger, browse. I'm going to open up that tutorial file. Frame. And it was like 23, wasn't it? Done. Now, see, that's a, um, that's the default transition is the fade, but now I can check it. So the new transition is the fade. I can name it if I want to. We'll just name it. I gotta click edit. There we go. <laughs> uh, we'll just name it tutorial. And if I want to, I could adding connections. Uh, if you go from specific scenes, so if I start on starting soon and I go to, uh, let's say live i could make it that specific streamlabs is so cool you can make specific transitions going from a specific t scene to a different one so that's pretty cool but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna add that that get a little confusing but i just have it tutorial is the default one for all of them so when i go from fortnite to intermission i'm sorry you guys can see this the overlay is like messing up but there it is the transition but i hope this helped you guys and i hope you guys learned something new if you guys have questions as always put them in the comments below and as i mentioned in the last video if you guys would like me to make you a custom transition like that be sure to email me we'll search gmail.com and we can work out some type of deal and i can make you guys something pretty dope so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys learned something like i said i hope you guys have a great day talk to y'all later peace out